Jamie here. I have been um, asked several times, so if you have a yoga block, Jamie here. I have been um, asked several times what I do for tension in specific areas of the body. So grab yourself a block, order yourself one if you haven't already, and I'll show you some awesome, awesome stretches that you can use anytime through your day uh, to work through some neck and shoulder tension. All right, so let's do it. On your knees, walk your hands all the way forward towards your mat, and then we're gonna work on trying to put our elbows on the floor, okay, on the block. So in order to do that, you're gonna take one arm at a time, you're reaching your fingertips for the back of your shoulder blade, so one at a time, and then you're gonna try and lay those elbows to the mat. So I'm just a little too far away from the mat, so you'll walk your knees up accordingly, and you're gonna try and lay those elbows to the, to the yoga block, and we'll try to get your head to go in between so your forehead is resting to the floor and you're allowing your two elbows to rest onto the yoga block while you just take several slow breaths. Maybe you spider walk your fingers a little lower. Maybe even start to grip lightly on the shoulder blades. Lengthen your spine, sit your hips back, slow breaths. Okay, if this particular stretch feels amazing, you stay there for a few more moments. If you'd like to try it with a different height, then you can adjust the yoga block by just turning it a little bit up higher. Same technique though. One hand and the other hand. Find that according, uh, that space that you need accordingly to get the arms to be on your block. Maybe walk your elbows a little closer towards each other on the block. Head on the floor again. Sit your hips back. today we come back to it we're gonna lay the yoga block back flat and try the fingertips with the head on the floor okay so you may have to scoot back a little bit so now you're raising your fingertips up a little higher bringing your forehead to the floor stretching your hips back gripping onto the block trying to stretch those shoulders out of the body pull your stomach in sit your hips back Feel your shoulders, feel them a little intense, stretching in the neck and the shoulders. And then gently come up. Okay, good ones. Here's the next one you can work in your low back. Option to bring your feet soles together and just allow your knees to relax open. Other option is just to keep your feet flat to the floor. I'm gonna take your yoga block and again, we'll work with two heights. We'll start with this one and we'll turn it and try and go a little higher. So you're gonna find the sacrum part of your spine, the tailbone area, the lolo spine area. And you, get, you can lay all the way down on your mat to begin and then grab your yoga block, lift your hips up and slide the yoga block a little low at the low spine. You can feel how it feels in your hips and low back. If you bring your feet soles together and butterfly the knees open, breathe. So this now is gonna be working more specifically in your lower back. You can lift your hips up and see if there is more room for you to put that yoga block on a different height. And for this one, maybe you want to intensify the stretch in the hip flexors by stretching out your legs. You can feel it on the top of your legs. You could try your butterfly feet too.
If you have two yoga blocks, this would be helpful for you to use one block on each hand to get another stretch in the back. So again, you'll have to kind of play with the distance, little trial and error, pushing the blocks, pulling it towards you to make it in the right fit, no problem. So we're gonna use our hands and turn the yoga blocks so that my palms lay right over the top of, of the block. You can turn it either way, okay? And then maybe we'll try and raise the block up a little higher. So here we go. We're going to place one hand on each and forehead to the floor. Now, if you notice, raising the hands a little higher up is gonna intensify the stretch, place it in a different area. Push the palms down, sink the hips back. Notice your breathing. Lengthen the spine, stretch your arms forward, keep your neck nice and flat. And then slowly try to come up and see if you can maybe alter the height of the brick, the block. Play around with taking it to the next height. Lay your palms to the floor, head to the floor, your palms to the yoga block, head to the floor. Grip the block with the tips of your fingers and feel that stretch down the spine and your shoulders. Sit your hips back. Okay, feels really good. These next stretches, you can use two blocks as well. Go ahead and take a seated position. Bring one of your yoga blocks to where your head would be, roughly, and take your other yoga block and put it right underneath your bottom shoulder blades, bra strap area. Okay, so roughly we figure it's gonna be about there. You push it up as needed. For this one, feet can be flat. Okay, if you don't like the sensation, it's too intense of your head to the floor, then maybe work your way towards that in time. Maybe put your yoga block under your head at a high height. Or keep the yoga block out and just breathe. If the head is on the floor, your chest is lifted, the rib cage is more tilted upward towards the ceiling. Feels really good to even bring your arms up over your head to the floor. If you had a yoga block under your head as a pillow, this time we're going to slowly remove the block from the head, come all the way up, we're going to take the block and move it down to the sacrum. Okay, so we'll bring it down a little bit lower. Another way that you could do it is to just break, uh, sit all the way down, lay all the way down, lift your hips up, and take your yoga block and slide it underneath little bit slower than your low back. If you'd like, you can extend your legs long. You can butterfly your feet together and let your knees butterfly open. You can bring your arms up over your head. Breathe. Try to bring your feet flat. Lift your hips up, turn your yoga block another direction, and then do it again. Relax your shoulders. Try your feet soles together, butterfly your knees open, or if that doesn't feel right for this height, maybe keep your feet flat or extend the legs. Option to bring your arms up over your head. And slowly take your block out from underneath your hips and gently come up. All right, I hope that you enjoyed these uh, yoga postures treating back issues. Sometimes the back tension is unbearable and a little bit of tension release, doing some yoga poses, coming back to your mat, connecting to your breath, does wonders. So send me messages and let me know if this is something that you're interested in seeing more of. There's certainly more yoga poses where this comes from. I'll see you soon. So long for now, junkies. Have a good day.